crafting your tech destiny unlock your potential with gfg lpu's btech program and strategic career development hello wonderful attendees i'm your host dalvinder kaur from lovely professional university get ready to dive into today's topic that is crafting your tech destiny gfe gfg lpu's btech program and career development strategies before we proceed further allow me to introduce the experts of the day dr makul mahajan associate professor school of computer science and engineering lovely professional university he has 13 plus years of experience in teaching and research his area of expertise are programming wireless sensor network and communication systems so now i would uh, introduce uh, mr saurabh bansal mentor and trainer in mon mr saurabh has uh, guided over 5000 students excelling in both back end and front end development with the mon stack mr rosor brings a wealth of industry knowledge and expertise don't miss this miss this opportunity to learn from one of the best in this field so i would like to introduce admission nominee also in this webinar ms sasha rani assistant professor and coordinator b tech m tech ece phd ece department of communications division of admissions before we proceed further in today's session i would like to request everyone for any questions you can write in the chat box or in the q and a box or same will be addressed for my side in the end of this webinar and now i hand over the things to dr makul and mr saurabh and it would be an absolute delight to listen from them over to you both so firstly hello everyone my name is saurabh bansal as ma'am has told about me so today i will be representing the geeks for geeks as you all know about geeks for geeks is a very 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 popular company in computer science branch as we are revolutionizing the tech, uh, tech education from past 15 to 20 years okay so now today i will tell you about what is gfg and what we are doing okay so firstly let me tell you about geeks for geeks geeks for geeks were founded by mr sandeep jain in 2008 till then from that part we are as a tech company we are we, uh, our head office is in noida and we are with a vision of revolutionizing revolutionizing the tech education our organization has fulfilled aspirations and we have a well written code well written uh, text content and over 3000 plus dsa questions we have a very 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 good amount of content so that every computer science field can cover that okay so geeks for geeks have a global community of over 12 million tech enthusiasts and it is supported by 20000 plus contributors and we have 500 plus campus ambassadors also so now i will tell you more about our alumni so like see Uh, we have our dsa learners so samir who is placed at google abhishek aroda placed at amazon elisha singh placed at goldman sachs so we have a lot of students uh, from our different different types of courses who are placed at different different companies let me show you more about that let's see that our uh, our next dsa learners are shivangi goel placed at dell aniket srivastava placed at society general and kushag at placed at amazon now i will show you about the monstack learners we have monstack learners also so tejas who is from who, who is placed by uh, at dtech uh, bank and now anshika chorasia who is placed at warner brothers and chitranj gupta who is placed at amazon they all have taken our pay, paid courses at the mohan stack so now i will tell you about the data science learner so we have a lot of data science uh, learner as well so ishan das who has placed at gfg pratik singh uh, arikson global and lakshmi at hasal now we have more students from data science as well like uh, ramatran sharma who is placed at bharat groups sagar patle quantity kiosk Kiran Chandra played at placed at TCS. So these are our JBDL learners as well. Raman Tail who is placed at Phone Pay. Shetaj Kumar placed at Deloitte. Ashish placed at Geo. So these are our Gate learners as well. So we have Suyash who has uh, got the All India rank as four forty seven. Ojas Hek who has placed at uh, in the Gate CS he has got the rank of five sixty five and Mayuk who has got the rank of eighteen fifty six. So they are our ten thousand plus stories. So oh, our alumni are placed at different different companies like Google, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Geeks for Geeks, Goldman Sachs, Apple, Geo, Amazon, TCS, Infosys, and Warner Brothers. There are a lot of list. So firstly, this is the basic introduction of GFG. Now I will tell you more about that. Uh, if you are preparing for some companies, if you are also preparing for jobs, if you want a good job and maybe a good tech career in your uh, life, 
and you, if you are joining the geeks for geeks then geeks for geeks uh, let me tell you about the companies of job uh, companies and their packages so firstly the, the there comes the multinational job companies like facebook apple microsoft and there are a lot of companies who are multinational companies so if you are uh, like aiming for these companies now they have package for around 3l uh, 25 lpa to 3 crs and these companies basically give you a very good work life culture they give you a very good package and these companies are called multinational product companies if you want to like uh, target these companies you have to be very 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 good at dsa and we have a lot of things that can help you uh, to crack these kinds of companies now we have one more things of companies like startups okay in which we have razer pay maybe zomato swiggy paytm and all these kinds of companies come in startup range uh, in this startup range maybe the package varies from 5 to 50 lpa uh, i am telling you about the packages of freshers it is the kind of uh, packages of the freshers okay if you are uh, like uh, going to target these types of company then you have to learn dsa and you have to learn the uh, basically a tech education like if you want to go in the mern stack or maybe you can go for the data science as well if you are uh, companies uh, if you are targeting these kinds of companies now we have the third kind of companies that is called service based company which are basically the companies these companies hire from like they they give you package like 3 from 3 lpa to 25 lpa based on their like uh, job profiles and based on your experience okay these company consist of cognizant tcs capgemini and so on so like if i tell you what is going to be the your uh, like job preparation or maybe the part to job let me tell you about and now, then i will tell you how geeks for geeks can help you in that part okay so basically so basically if we are going to see that part to get a job so if you are going for a job then first step is going to be the resume shortlisting so firstly you have to make a good resume in which the uh, geeks for geeks articles can help you a lot even though geeks for geeks uh, teachers are well if you are taking this uh, course from the geeks for geeks then geeks for geeks will help you to make a ats friendly resume okay now in the second part as the second part is going to be the problem solving part in main uh, in like uh, 100% times maybe 99% times uh, always uh, companies are asking you dsa okay why i am telling you dsa 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 because dsa is the like uh, language of computer in which uh, we can understand or maybe we have to tell the computer that what to do uh, using dsa we can tell how that computer can do the task or the maybe solve the real life problems which we are coming okay which uh, which are coming in like real life okay now there there is a third technical round in the th third technical round you have to be uh, like present your skills like if you are in the uh, full stack web development then you have to be very good at mern stack or mean stack or any web development stack and and then uh, if you are very good uh, if you have cleared these three rounds then the last round is going to be the hr round so our company is going to prepare you for all for these rounds like we we will prepare you for resume shortlisting we will prepare you for dsa we will prepare you for technical round in which you are going for and the next is going to be the hr round so we will also going to help you in the hr rounds as well how to crack that hr rounds how to go and well, like impress the hr how to salary how to negotiate in the salary and all of these kinds of things uh, geeks for geeks is going to help you now i will tell you why to choose geeks for geeks okay why geeks for geeks geeks for geeks offer you personalized learning okay what is going to be the personalized learning maybe firstly in lpu if you are going to choose gfg then we uh, we uh, our expert mentors are over there okay they are basically industry professionals who are going to help you okay now uh, there are uh, some teachers and also we will also provide you our online courses our full fledged courses if like if in a semester uh, you have a dsa course now if you are choosing geek for geeks now you can avail the geeks for geeks paid dsa course for free okay now you can attend the free geeks for geeks course uh, and you will also get the certificate over there and now i will also tell you about the doubt solving so we have a great doubt solving portal so you can also join that doubt solving portal and individually your doubts will be solved by our expert team and going to be very interactive and now the third one is real world projects we focus on real world projects how industry is doing what are the trends in the industry how the trends are going what is the industry doing we are not just uh, like that that we are teaching you some skills that are not uh, like implemented in the uh, mainstream or maybe the in the industry 
okay we are uh, teaching you that thing that is coming to the industry that the developers are doing in the companies so we are teaching you that okay our courses are has been uh, like modifying day to day okay we are implementing the real world projects we are implementing the everything everything which you need for a good job now we have both online and offline classes available like in the offline as i have already told you our expert mentors will be always there and you can also attend the online classes online lectures of geeks for geeks from our expert mentor as well so the last is expert mentors as i have already told you so now i will tell you uh, what is the platform at geeks for geeks what is the platform is giving you okay so if you see on the this geeks for geeks platform we have over 3000 dsa problems and these problems can help you crack any interviews maybe it is of google microsoft netflix facebook maybe it's of uh, like any startup like zomato swiggy and maybe paytm any fintech startup if you want to crack these kinds of company you have to solve these problems if you are choosing gfg then you will get all the access to these problems and even these are uh, 3000 around 3000 problems which are for everyone but if you are choosing gfg then you will get access to premium problems as well okay and also you will get the uh, support of the expert solutions you will get the video tutorial you will get, uh, get the text based solutions for very free okay if you are choosing gfg okay like you can see over here so then we have sd sheets as well like if you are something like that uh, if you are preparing for the interviews like uh, the companies are coming uh, for like around 10 after 10 days uh, companies are coming so you can prepare for that in a quick way using our sd sheets as well so we have beginner sd sheet sd sheets so you can choose the difficulty level as well if you are like beginner then you can choose the scale school after that you can choose the basic one after that you can choose easy medium and hard that's what you can go even our comp uh, even we have sorted the problems according to the companies as well like we have this part so if you are like going for a interview of uh, tcs then, then you can choose this part then you can choose these filters if you are going for the interview of microsoft then you can choose these filters okay even you can choose these filters we have also covered the topic wise we have covered we have sorted the questions as well now you can see if you are want to like cover the array strings linked list you can cover everything with gfg okay gfg is having the best portal in uh, all over the india okay we have the largest number of questions in the world okay in dsa so also you can see that uh, we have a lot of courses as well okay if you go and see uh, if i just write geeks for geek gfg then you can see uh, our courses as well so you will get the access of these courses according to the semester as like i have already told you if you have mon stack like if you have mon stack in the course so you will get the paid mon stack course for free okay if you have that part okay so uh, i think my internet is not running very fast okay it will take some time so uh, let me tell you in between why web development okay so basically uh, why web development we, you can choose web development as well you can choose dsa as well so we have a lot of things for you okay let me tell you about a little bit web development web development is basically the development of web meaning the development of websites okay in this part we will offer you how to uh, like make websites front end back end how to deal with databases how to log in authenticate how to make industry level websites maybe you can go then for freelancing maybe you can go for jobs and there are a lot of things you can go for if you are choosing the web development as a career okay it is the best thing the best thing about the web development is that if you are choosing web development as a career then you can see that for the freshers uh, there are very 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 much companies that are hiring for web development as a fresher so if you are choosing like data science or maybe something like that so there are companies uh, who are choosing a fresher as their uh, employees but there are very less companies who are choosing freshers as their employees in data science if you are going for web development then there are a lot of companies who are choosing their employees as a fresher in the field of web development so if you are going for now you can see there there is a huge digital transformation job growth in us and evolving technologies maybe there are technologies evolving now uh, companies want the essential technologies latest technologies or you will get that content in gfg okay these kinds of things you will get in gfg so uh, we have the best data structures and algorithm course as well as in which we are going to teach you everything about data structures we are going from the basics like we will firstly teach you the about the language maybe it can be c++ or java or python you can choose any language and after that 
uh, if you have choose the one language, then you will go to, got to know about the data structures. Firstly, we will start with array, strings, everything, everything, every data structure we will get to you. We will let you know, and you can solve a lot of questions over GFG. We have the best, best, best questions, and even other other people are also solving on our platforms. Okay. So, and what is the benefits of going uh, with GFG? Okay. If you are choosing GFG as like, so firstly, you will get the, uh, you will get the paid courses for free of our, and also uh, we will offer you internship in the third year. Selected students will get, get the uh, internship offers as well from GFG. And in you can come on the GFG, maybe offline or online internships. So we will give you the internship opportunities in the GFG as well. And also you will get the access to the latest interview questions, latest DSA questions, the premium DSA questions in our portal as if you choose the GFG as your part, uh, as your VTech program. Okay. And also you, you can get the offline sessions by our expert mentors, which are present at LPU and also the online, uh, you can uh, attend the online uh, batches uh, using our batch, uh, using our paid courses. Okay. That are also free for you. There are almost 12 to 16 courses. You can go ahead and take that part. And after that, you have uh, covered our whole courses. You will get a certificate of that. And Geeks for Geeks certificate has a very, very, very good reputation in market. If you are doing something from Geeks for Geeks, then it is going to be have a great, uh, like great reputation in the market. So uh, that's all from my side. If you have any queries, you can ask uh, your queries to me. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Saurabh and uh, Mr. Makun. So it was wonderful watching you talking on Geeks for Geeks, LPU's BTEC program and career double, uh, development strategies. So now I would request to the admission nominee, Ms. Asha Rani, to be on the screen. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay, let me first share the screen. Yes. Uh, is that visible, ma'am? Can you confirm, please? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, screen is visible. You can continue. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, uh, let me first uh, uh, discuss about accreditation and approvals. As we all know that uh, the LPU, lovely professional university, is not only a university, Itself, it's, it is a just mean city, you can say. And we have accreditations and approvals. Let me discuss first about this. I'm uh, feeling proud to share with you all that uh, we are NAC A accredited and we score the highest. We have the LPU has the highest score that is 3.68 score on four points scale. And it is the highest score in. Uh, can say first cycle of accreditation among all the government and private university. It is also highest score among all uh, dual mode programs, uh, means regular education as well as distance education, and in both uh, can say government and private universities in India. And it is also the highest score among all the state private universities of India. And uh, we have also accreditation uh, from the Accreditation Council for Business School and Programs, for business programs. And uh, we have also uh, NAC that I had already discussed. And uh, recently we got uh, NB accreditation for business program as well as uh, uh, BTEC programs for all the four, I mean, uh, for these BTEC, four BTEC programs, we got recently uh, NBA accreditation that is for BTEC CSE, BTEC EC, BTEC mechanical engineering, as well as BTEC civil engineering. And uh, if uh, uh, I discuss uh, about, if I talk about approvals, we have all the approvals that is required for any program to run. Uh, we have approval from uh, UGC University Grants Commission for distance education as well as uh, regular. And uh, we have uh, Approval from uh, National Council for Teacher Education for uh, education programs. So before starting any program, we ensure that uh, all the approval and accreditations required for that particular program, we should have. And uh, for architecture program, we have uh, approval from the Council of Architecture. Similarly, for law program, we have bar approval from Bar Council of India. 
and pharmacy council of india for pharmacy programs similarly for physiotherapy uh, program and we have the uh, approval from indian association for of physiotherapist and uh, similarly for agriculture education punjab state council for agriculture education and uh, if i'm talking about memberships we are the member of international association of universities iau and we are also we are also the member of institute of international education and uh, from uh, all indian university we are also member of aiu all indian universities and uh, we are also the member of, we have also approval from aict for uh, odl as well as uh, online programs uh, aict mean all india council for technical education and uh, we are also the member of uh, association of commonwealth universities and uh, institute of engineers okay uh, now let's talk about uh, Uh, rankings. If I uh, discuss about rankings, uh, um, again feeling proud to share with you that we also ranked second in world's university with the real impact. And uh, uh, in this particular ranking, all the top most universities like MIT, Harvard, Oxford University, Cambridge University, they also participated in this. ranking and in this ranking we got second rank and if i'm talking about alternate ranking of institution of innovation achievement we are ranked third in that okay and uh, as everyone knows that our student created history in olympics Uh, 12 out of 30 lpu student they won olympic medal in olympics one gold one silver and two bronze medals and uh, with that uh, our students uh, they have not only made india i mean uh, university lpu you uh, know proud but uh, whole of the nation also and uh, Uh, we also uh, one we have one more achievement that is uh, Molana Abdul Kalam Azad Sports Maka Sports Sports Trophy and I'm uh, again feeling proud to share with you that uh, we are the first ever private university to clinch this title since its inception uh, in 1956 and we are the first runner up in this particular uh, trophy and it is. Uh, Uh, the uh, it's a sport, sports honor of india and it is awarded to the overall top performing universities in sports and it is pro awarded by the ministry of youth affairs and sports government of india and the our students they performed um, they did wonders in uh, 19th asian games also and uh, again we have one more achievement uh, neeraj chopra is a uh, student he clinched the loss and diamond league for its best, for his best throw of 89.09 meters in tokyo olympics 2020 and these are the some uh, glimpses of uh, our students uh, achievement in sports okay we uh, are not on the top uh, in the sports uh, or um, other co curricular activities uh, but also in the education field we hosted 106 indian science congress in 2019 and it was inaugurated by the honorable prime minister of india shri narendra modi and in this particular indian science congress in this event not only audience from the you can see from the nation but international audience also there and uh, uh i mean we can say that uh, approximately uh, you can say uh, renowned every renowned personality approximately in all the fields they have visited our university Uh, he is the spiritual lead, leader who doesn't know him he is the lai lama ji he also visited our university and uh, two former presidents with the our uh, honorable chancellor sir shri ashok mittal ji and we uh, 
I mean, our students are doing wonder in approximately every field. The, one of the reasons behind this is that we always inspire, motivate, and guide our students uh, in approximately every field. In, in whichever field they have interested, we always guide and motivate them. And uh, uh, startup school, startup I mean, if the student have, if the student have any idea in their mind, we always guide and uh, inspire them to go with that. And we also help them, them we also assist them uh, financially as well as academically. And this is uh, one of the event, I mean, uh, Shri Arun Jetli ji, they, he inaugurated the uh, LPU startup school. And uh, this is a convocation. And uh, He's a spiritual uh, leader, Gaur Gopal Dasi. He guided our students to maintain the balance between mental health and education. So as I told that, do you name and we have them. And, uh, Bollywood personalities also visited our university campus. These are the glimpses of that. MS Dhoni ji, celebrities, Prabhu Deva, Sonu Sood, so uh, let me discuss one more agreement, we also have Guinness World Record with the largest Bhangra team under one roof. And uh, okay, um, uh, let's discuss about our infrastructure, I mean, not in education, not in sports, but uh, if we are talking about infrastructure, we are also uh, at the uh, in the topmost universities uh, in infrastructure wise also. This is the campus. I'll show you some glimpses of uh, our uh, beautiful campus. This is open air auditorium. This is the auditorium with the 2,500 seating capacity. All the big events, webinars, seminars are being uh, are being conducted here. And this is the lab library. It is open till 12 p.m. And uh, as I told you that our university is not only university, it is itself a city, we can say that. And all the I mean, basic commodities uh, you can have in one campus only. And this is the Unimog, where you can have all the things, whatever you need in your daily life, you can have from this Unimog. These are the glimpses of that. And the uh, gymnasium. And we are not taking care of for our student in education or in academics. We also take care of their health also. We have uh, our own uh, hospital, uni hospital in the campus itself, with 30 bedded campus uh, with the, you can see staff, the ther physiotherapist and uh, medical officers. Solar panel to generate electricity. See our beautiful campus, the screen campus. View of our campus uh, in the dark. And uh, see, I had already uh, discussed that uh, our students are doing wonders in sports also, in all other fields also, in academics also. And uh, we can see if... Uh, I mean, a research field also, startup school, I mean, startups also in everywhere our students are doing wonder. And uh, the, I, mean, I mean, one reason behind this is that we provide all the required things to the students. Just like uh, in the field of sports, uh, let me show you the facilities, badminton court, shooting range. Basketball, then uh, all weather Olympic size uh, swimming pool. Yes, all weather Olympic size swimming pool. 
okay this was all about uh, infrastructure and uh, approval and accreditations of our university uh, now uh, i mean how to get admission in our university uh, i'll tell you i'll tell you about that also and uh, this is my suggestion it's better if you can come uh, on our website so that I can guide you that how to get admission in our university and how to, whatever, whichever I had discussed earlier. I mean, uh, this all information you can have from our website also. So let me bring you all to the website. Let's wait. Let me see. Uh, my screen is visible. Uh, yes, ma'am, my screen the is visible. LPU no, website, is that visible? Okay. Thank yes, ma'am. Right. Uh, so if you want to visit our university, uh, this is the link for our university, www. Uh, let me again type here, www.lpu.in. This is our university's page. Now, if you want to, that I had discussed about infrastructure, accreditation, approval, ranking, uh, and placement, this all information you can have from our website also. So let's talk about this program that uh, Sara Vansal and Dr. Makul Mahajan had discussed, BTEC CSA, with the uh, collaboration with uh, Geek for Geeks. Okay. And, uh, uh, when you are visiting our page www.lpu.in, you can click on there are different different tabs about admission, academics, campus life. You can click over on admission. When you click on admission, there is a regular program you can click on. Otherwise, you can click on uh, after 12th program also. It will uh, bring to you uh, the page where all the programs are uh, appearing. So when you click on regular program, from here, just wait. Click on uh, computer science and engineering. And here we are having different different programs of CSE, BTEC, CSE, four years with uh, in specialization, different different specializations, full stack web development, machine learning, Android application. And these are the specialization and uh, tracks and minor offered for BTEC CSE four years. And uh, we are having the honors industry collaborated, uh, uh, collaborative programs also, work integrated programs also, industry collaborative programs also. So let's uh, discuss about this program, BTEC honors computer science and engineering full stack development with geeks for geeks. Just like, uh, uh, I mean, Sora Bansal and Dr. Mukul Mahajan had discussed about Geek for Geeks. So this is the BTEC Honors Computer Science and Engineering uh, in tie-up with Geeks for Geeks. So let me discuss first uh, about its eligibility. Its eligibility is a pass with the 60% aggregate marks in 12th with the Physics, Mathematics and English or equivalent but you need to also qualify LPU NEST or CUT or you must have J score in J means that is 80 percentiles above. And this is the eligibility, 60 percent in 12th. In addition to that, you must have cleared our LPU NEST or you have scored in good score in the CUT or J means. If you have not studied English subject, uh, but your medium of English uh, instruction was English in your plus one and plus two, eleven or twelve, even then you can take the admission. I mean, this condition of English can be waived off. Similarly, five percent relaxation for the Northeast uh, and the Sikkim candidates or defense personnel. Okay, this was uh, about. Uh, 
mean eligibility for this particular program no let's discuss about i mean if i'm talking about the curriculum so uh, in our curriculum we are having open minors also industry interface mean uh, you can say contents are being delivered from the industry uh, experts and the undergraduate research if you want to go for if you have this I mean, uh, interest in the research even then you can select the uh, subject as per this and if you are interested uh, to um, in studying abroad even then you can uh, select accordingly your subjects and there are career pathways also when uh, you want to get job in corporate sector or public sector or, or you want to go for high study accordingly you can select the, your career pathways okay this was all about our subjects which ever subjects you are going to study in all the four years so let me discuss uh, about uh, fee and scholarship. See, our fee uh, is totally on the caliber of the student. I mean, uh, where is the performance of the student, low will be the fee. See, from uh, First June onwards, we are having a um, scholarship 25. And there is one more thing, uh, let me tell you. Uh, this fee is uh, after, I mean, if you have not, uh, you can say, applied or they filled the application till 31st of May, then your fee will be like this. But uh, if you can, if uh, there is uh, one more relaxation, if you are taking admission till 5th of June, then this scholarship will be 28% of your program fee. Okay, and if you are taking admission as per this, I mean, first June onwards, your scholarship will be 25% of program fee. Uh, if I'm talking about fee, that is 2 lakh per semester, but it is not as 2 lakh if your performance is good in LPNest or in your 12th or in J main, you can have scholarship as per that. Uh, CLPNS is the, uh, you can say, national eligibility and scholarship test being conducted by a university. If you are, there are three different you can, slabs or categories. If you are falling as per your marks in the category one, then you have, you can have scholarship 25% of your program fee. In that case, you are, sorry, in that case, your scholarship will be 50,000 per semester and your fee will become 1,50,000 per semester, mean throughout VTEC, your fee will remain, will be this 1,50,000 per semester. And uh, similarly, if you have uh, in your 12th, 90% or aggregate marks are 95% or above, in then you can have scholarship of 25% of program fee, that is 50,000. Or if you have uh, percentile in J main is more than 95. I'm talking about percentile. If percentile is more than 95, then you have maximum scholarship that is 25% of your program fee. In that case, your applicable fee will be 1,50,000. And similarly, for category 2, or you can say slab 2 of scholarship, that is 20% of your program fee. Again, if you have category 1, category 2 cutoff in your LQ nest or your percentage, aggregate percentage is from 90 to 94 point, I mean uh, more than uh, or equal to 90 or less than 95. Then applicable, uh, you can say scholarship will be 20% of your program fee, that is 40,000. In that case, your fee will become well, like 60,000. Similarly, if you're having LPNS score category 3 cutoff, if you are falling in this cutoff or your percentage is more than more than equal to 80 or less than 90, mean 89.99 or J percentile is equal to or more than 80, uh, but less than 90, then you can have, uh, you will be having 15% of your program fee as your scholarship. I mean 30,000 will be scholarship. In that case, your fee will become 170,000. This was all about uh, fee and we are having uh, other scholarship and this scholarship I had already discussed that uh, basis on the percentage of your qualifying exam that is 12 for this particular program and on the basis of LPNS, UET, JE main we are having other scholarships also scholarship based on innovation startup and entrepreneurship when I discuss about accreditation and uh, ranking and achievement of our university I discussed that we are motivating and inspiring our students 
in whichever field they want to go I mean if they want to start their own startup they have some idea in their mind and we always guide the student to go with that so university is helping financially also and we are having scholarship based on this innovation startup and entrepreneurship if you don't want to go for the job you want to become entrepreneur even then if you are having some idea to start up your own business we are also guiding for that and we are offering the scholarship also on the basis of that and if i'm talking about financial aid financial aid for serving retired defense uh, capf paramilitary personnel and their dependent we are having financial aid now let's uh, talk about how to apply for this program okay before that let me discuss about important dates I mean, what is the last uh, date to apply for this see if you click on the important date on the university for this particular program these are the dates I mean uh, online register registration starts from this particular phase that is from 1st june and the last date of admission is 15th of june and the date of entrance exam in uh, just like if uh, i told you I mean if you are uh, your jwe uh, percentile is in less than 80 then you have to appear in lpu nest and the lpu nest uh, that is being conducted not only uh, you can say it is conducted in two modes uh, you can say remotely proctored and uh, center based it is a uh, up to the student if he wants to uh, appear in the exam from your from his or her home he can go for mostly proctored uh, exam mode otherwise center based exams we are also having that mode also last date of submission of application three days before the conduct of the exam and uh, i mean if you want to appear for the exam on 7th of june he she must apply and book the exam slot on. I mean, uh, if you want exam on 7th or 8th June, then you have to apply three days before for that particular exam. And the last date of admission, let me again tell you that is 15th of June. After that, because this is one of the one of our popular programs. So it is, uh, I mean, um, we cannot ensure with that we have seats vacant after 15th of June. And display of LPU nest result that will be within 48 hours. Suppose you had a PR exam today itself and the uh, day after tomorrow, you will be having the result of that. And uh, accordingly, I mean, uh, you can go for the admission if you have cleared and if you are falling in, uh, you can say category one, category two, or category three. And accordingly, you can have scholarship also. So, this is important. Now, let's discuss uh, how to apply. Now, see here. I mean, when you are visiting our website, there is a apply now link, and you can click on that. After you click on that, you have to fill all the necessary credentials. I mean, your name, gender, your mail, state, and your mobile number, and you have to sign up. And after that, uh, your login and password will be sent to your registered mobile and your mail. And uh, after that, you can go for uh, admission.lpu.in and in that you can log in on your portal. And after logging in, now if you want to, I mean, if you want to appear for LPNet, if your J percentile is less than 60, then you need to appear for that. If your percentile in JW is good, then it is up to you whether you go on to appear in this particular test for scholarship or not. But if percentile is uh, not more than or equal to 80, then you need to appear in this particular test. And uh, first of all, as I told you, you have to sign up and after that you can uh, uh, you have to fill the application. In the application, you have to fill out uh, your uh, academic details, your 10th to 12th, and uh, your personal details. And then you can apply uh, for LPNS entrance uh, and scholarship. I mean, if you don't want to apply for, I mean, your percentile, percentile is good enough in JWE. And in that case, you are exempted from LPNS. If you don't want to apply, it's okay. But you have to fill this application. This is the application form. If you want to apply, you can go for this third step otherwise you can skip as for your scores in other you can see jw then you can book the exam slot and you can appear and after appearing 
result will be declared within 48 hours so, and as per your result you have to proceed then for the admissions this is all about uh, how to apply for that you know, for this program we take CSE honors and tie up with these four weeks So if I'm talking about placement, placement is also um, very good. Uh, one of our alumni got three core package also, and uh, two of our alumni got one core package also, and we are having 64 lakh highest salary uh, package, and the average you can have in 14.97 lakh. This is all about, and uh, uh, as far as placement is concerned, we are uh, uh, we start guiding our student uh, from the first semester itself with the you can say personality enhancement program, and uh, in this program, uh, in this particular you can say program, students are being guided from the first semester itself in you know, how to appear in the interview and if they want to go for they don't want to go for the job then how to go for other fields just like entrepreneurship and uh, to start their own startup. So this is all about. Uh, uh, university and admission criteria. If you still have any doubt, uh, any query, you can ask. That's all from my side. Thank you so much, uh, Miss Asha Rani. Ma'am, can you please stop sharing your screen? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. As I can see, there's some questions from a participant. Can we take questions, uh, Mr. Saurabh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Makula, and uh, Miss Asha Rani? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks for giving me chance to address your questions. And now let's start with the Mega's question. Mega is asking here, how does the LPU's B-Tech program prepare students for a successful tech career? Uh, Mr. Saurabh, uh, Dr. Makul. So basically, if you are choosing GFG, so GFG is going to help you with like we have a lot of text content. We have a lot of DSA questions. If you are preparing for uh, like a tech career, then you can practice uh, a lot of things on our GFG portal. Maybe uh, GFG will, uh, LPU will help also help you with our courses. LPU will help you with our expert mentors, GFG expert mentors. And a lot of things uh, will be provided by GFG as well as LPU as well. So maybe the LPU part, uh, maybe the, maybe uh, yeah, Makul sir will explain you best about the LPU. Uh, Dr. Makul, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, so we provide various inputs at the campus level also. We provide the PEP sessions in which we prepare the students for the placements as well as for their tactical careers. We provide the group discussion session, mock interviews, mock drives are conducted so that they would be better placed in better companies. Thank you so much, Dr. Makul and uh, Mr. Saurabh. Uh, Adil is asking here, what role does GFG plays in uh, enhancing the technical skills of LPU students? Uh, like, uh, firstly, the uh, GFG will help you with our expert mentors. Then we have, like, uh, we are going to uh, teach you about the st practices which industry is following like the real life projects, like how to optimize the things, how to optimize the websites, how to make, uh, like uh, how to be aligned with our industries, uh, like how to align with uh, new technologies like React, maybe the next JS, any, every technology in every field. And even the uh, GFG is going to help you with uh, like companies questions, how, how to uh, uh, tackle the company question, how to uh, crack the HR rounds, how to uh, make resumes, how to make good resume, LTS friendly resume, and all of the things. Geeks for Geeks is going to help you with that. Thank you so much, Mr. Saurabh. Uh, Ms. Asha Rani, uh, someone is asking here, do LPU provide the residential facilities also? Yes, of course, definitely. We are providing the residential facilities also. We are having the uh, apartments also in uh, AC as well as in non AC, we have uh, apartments also, and we are having uh, standard rooms also. We are having four seater, five seater, two seater, single seater apartment as well as uh, standard rooms, AC as well as non AC. Just like I told you about the scholarship, now behind the PN scholarship, we are having a link for a residential facility also. 
if you people want it, I can show you also on the website itself. You can click on that. Each and everything related to hostel is there. And uh, uh, I mean, uh, every type of facility is uh, within the campus. And it is the, one of the safest, uh, you can say, hostel, residential facility in our campus. We are having biometric and all of that. And that is the, um, you can say, most uh, safe. Uh, hostels are actually very safe here. Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am, uh, Ms. Asha Rani and uh, Mr. Saurabh and Dr. Bakul once again. I hope all the participants got their answers from our experts. As we come to the end of this webinar, I want to express my deepest gratitude to our experts for sharing their valuable insights and expertise with us. Your presence, enthusiasm, and active participation have made this experience truly special. Hopefully the attendees found this webinar to be valuable and will be able to utilize the information for better decision making regarding your admission. If anyone want to assess this webinar again, they can visit our website that is lpu.in or can be assessed on YouTube also. Stay connected with us for future webinars until we meet again. With the permission of my seniors, I would be signing off this webinar. Take care and goodbye. Have a nice day.